All right, this is uh, Mac here from jlptbootcamp.com uh, with another book review. Uh, this time I'm going to be going over the new Kanzen Master Series uh, f for the new Kanzen Master Series N2 uh, for listening. And just to give you a quick overview for uh, the entire N2 uh, new Kanzen Master Series, these books... Uh, there's five of them in total. Uh, there's a grammar, kanji, reading comprehension, uh, listening, and a vocabulary uh, book. Each have their own uh, little color. Each are fairly reasonably, reasonably priced, I think around uh, $20 US, or here in Japan it's about uh, 1,300 yen or 1,400 yen. Um, and these uh, books are organized by chapters. They're not or there's no uh, curriculum or weekly um, kind of schedule to them. Um, and overall, generally speaking, there's not a lot of hand holding in uh, this book. There's uh, it's all Japanese. Um, there's no English, no Chinese, no Korean. Um, so you uh, you kind of get fully immersed into the to the language so um, they generally might not be the uh, first thing you want to pick up uh, when you start studying uh, for the N2 well you might want to study the uh, vocabulary in kanji when you first passed N3 and you're going for N2 uh, but uh, sometimes the grammar and the listening they have explanations in them that are uh, written all in Japanese and so they might be a little bit difficult to understand if you're uh, not used to reading that. So, um, for the listening, the uh, Chokai uh, book, if you want to use the uh, Japanese there, um, it basically has three sections. The first section introduces all the questions on the listening section of the test. It goes through uh, the five different kinds. Um, the the point comprehension questions, the uh, more general comprehension questions, and the quick response questions. goes over all those, just gives you one of each of those questions, uh, and then it gives you the tape script and the answer for each of them on the next page. And it gives you a brief explanation of uh, what kind of things they will ask you about on that particular question. Nothing in depth, just a quick introduction as to what the listening section looks like. Um, once you get past that, the second se section of the uh, textbook contains just a whole bunch of listening strategies. Um, the The first chapter works on some uh, general listening practice, uh, for example, the shortening of spoken speech. What I mean by this is instead of saying tabete uh, shimao, uh, people will say tabete Tabe chow. Um, and that happens occasionally um, when people are speaking uh, quickly in some um, in standard dialect. This is something that kind of uh, changes with each dialect actually so you might not hear it. Uh, for example if you live in Osaka the, the dialect is a little bit different here so they don't use it so much. Um, in, also in that first section, I should say, it also helps you practice uh, long and short vowels, uh, stops, some some basic listening uh, things like that, some basic listening strategies that will help you throughout the uh, listening section on the test. Once you get past that first chapter, uh, the rest of the second section goes over specific strategies for each part of the listening. Um, and for each kind of question. So each kind of question requires uh, different strategies in order for you to get the highest possible score. Uh, so for example, there's a section that includes a huge f amount of phrase cheat sheets um, that will go over uh, f you know, f a, set, a set number of phrases and uh, some good responses to those phrases that you might hear, for example, on the uh, quick response. Um, it'll also go over some things like 
all the different ways that someone can say yes or no to something, um, to, to agree or disagree uh, with something that needs to be done. So there's a lot of those phrases or there's um, another t- cheat sheet that goes over if the speaker is requesting something or uh, if the uh, speaker is going to do something for the listener, for the other speaker, I should say. Uh, it also get, goes over how to take notes very efficiently, um, and so you're able to answer the questions um, quickly and easily. It also goes over the flow of the converse, uh, flow of the question, um, how how the questions are going to be presented. Do you get the question beforehand? Do you get the question after? Uh, and what to what to do when you in those different situations. So a lot of really great strategies here. Uh, more than more than just learning some phrases and um, some things to listen for. Th- that's in the textbook too, but it really goes over how you can um, t- take notes. And that's actually really important for the new listing section because it's uh, they changed it around and it's a lot more difficult uh, than the old test. You need a, a lot more strategies than you did for the older test. Um, and the general flow of each one of these uh, strategy chapters is that each unit starts with a small lesson, uh, presents some kind of point, whether it's uh, practicing how to say yes or no, uh, people say yes or no in a conversation, and then it gives you one uh, practice question with the script and a fairly detailed explanation of uh, the um, the answer and why the the answer the particular answer is correct. Then after that, it'll give you three or so more questions to uh, confirm your knowledge and uh, really drive that point home. So it's really good. Um, each chapter really focuses on a particular strategy. You get it down pat, uh, and you can you can take that with you on the test. Uh, the final section of this book has a mock test. There's only one mock test, but it is a full-sized mock test uh, f- that, you know, the full uh, 50 minutes, I believe, is what the mock tests are or what the listening section is for N2. has a, all the same number of questions, same, same level of difficulty uh, for sure, and uh, it's pretty tricky. And again, there's no hand-holding um, uh, in this particular section, there's zero explanations of why you got uh, a particular question wrong or right. So, might not be uh, the best option for a mock test. You, I, I would recommend, and what I did was uh, go and get an, an actual separate mock test that has some detailed explanations of each each question. Um, but it does give you some extra practice. Uh, and get you ready for that test. So you can pick up this uh, book if you're outside Japan uh, at this following address. It's uh, j.mp forward slash wrp uh, dash n2 master listening. Or inside Japan, you can get it at amazon.co.jp. And the short link here is uh, http colon forward slash forward slash j dot mp forward slash azn dash n2 master listening or uh, if you are in japan at any major bookstore in a metropolitan area will have a foreign book section that will most likely have uh, this in it so that's it for me Uh, for more tips and suggestions help for the jlpt uh, please visit me at jlptbootcamp.com Thanks.